Okay, folks, good afternoon, Casa Chiesi. Once again, this time we are in the Umbria area of Italy, close to Perugia. And we are guests of a very close friend of ours, Renato, Paola, and Carlo, who have invited us down here to spend some days during the uh, holiday break. Uh, today, what are we going to be doing? We're going to cook a recipe with Renato, that is uh, one of his family's recipe. And um, he is picking up uh, from, how do you say? Laurel leaves laurel in the background leaves. from the laurel tree for the recipe. Let's see. <laughs> While Renato is selecting the right pot for cooking, I'm going to show you the, the ingredients that are very few and very simple. We're going to have, we're going to need some raisins, pine nuts, um, dry bread crumbs. What's the name of this again? The laurel leaves that he was laurel picking leaves outside. And parmesan cheese, uh, an onion that has to be cut very fine, and uh, this pork meat that has to be uh, cut very thin. What's the name of this? This is pork loin. Pork loin. And then you need some um, toothpicks to um, close the, the rolls. And I think that's about it. So let's call Renato and he's going to show us how to make the dish. Renato? Okay, while Renato is chopping the onion, the white onion, I do the dirty work, which is always prepare the parmesan cheese. And Renato, what is the name of the recipe we're cooking tonight? The name of the recipe is Rotolini di Rotoele. <laughs> which is... Rotolini di Rotoele. <laughs> exactly. And what is the story behind the recipe? Yeah. Well, behind the name, first of all, it's not... It was not the original name because it was uh, a recipe from, I think, from grand grandparents from Sicily. And it was just called in Voltini di, di Maiale, if I'm, if I'm not wrong. But then, uh, like uh, 15 years ago, uh, one morning, uh, my brother came uh, uh, telling us that he had a Fantastic, uh, fantastic dreams. Probably after eating pepperoni in the evening, but <laughs> uh, he had uh, this fantastic dream when he invented something which was a, a superb recipe, the best in Voltini ever. And he, he also dreamt about the name I mean, Rotolini di Rotoele. We don't know any rot Rotoele; it doesn't <laughs> exist at all. But it worked uh, perfectly. So from that moment. We decided to call this recipe Rotolini yeah, di Rotolini. Rot so now you know the storm. By the way, Rotoli, uh, um, Rotuele is the name that does not exist in Italian. So he made it up in his dream. Is this enough? Yeah, yeah. That's, okay. that's enough. So we are, I'm just chopping some onion, taking away this part, which is what gives bad bread. bread. Oh, okay. And then we're going to cook the um, bread with the onions, right? Exactly. You, you fry, how you say, soffriggere in English. Stir fry. Stir fry. Stir fry. Something like that. And uh, the, the onion, then you put in oil, in olive oil. And then you just put uh, the... Where are we going to add the The, the breadcrumbs and, yeah. in it. And that's it. You just fry it a little bit. And then you, add, after yeah. having cooked, you, you, put all you the mix other... with uh, raisins and uh, all the other ingredients, and you put you stuff the involtini. You, you, this is the filling of the involtini. Perfect. So now we're gonna see the rest in the kitchen. Okay. <coughs> so let, let's talk about the quantities. Um, you put Just olive oil. The temperature is okay. okay. Yeah. In, uh, I have put just one onion. We are five people, so we have like 25 slices of uh, pork meat to make about five involtini each 
each person. Yeah, because the evil genome are going to be very big, right? Because the cut is they are, quite they are quite small. small. They are quite small. The, the slices are small, so the evil genome will be small. So we just leave a bit the onion going on. In terms of uh, breadcrumbs, like 150 grams should be okay. Mm -hmm. And then... Parmesan cheese? Well, Parmesan cheese depends on uh, how tasty you want the, the, the filling of the involtini because the, the Parmesan cheese gives a lot of salt and of, of taste. So, like, 100 grams is more than enough. Mm -hmm. And raisins and uh, rennet? Uh, a handful, how do you call it? <laughs> a handful of, uh, of raisins. And that's, that's it, should be okay. So the, does the onion have to be mm, golden or just soft? Mm, a, a bit golden I prefer because it gives a bit of uh, more taste because it, it gets a little bit burned, so I prefer Because it's it. from the south. Yeah, I exactly. would have done it soft, not... No, 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 we don't <laughs> like sashimi stuff. <laughs> we cook. Che profumo! Yes! <laughs> Is it ready? Va bene. Okay, we can add the bread. This must have been a very simple and poor recipe. Huh? Yeah, it's, it's very simple. Wherever there is bread, yeah, 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 there yeah is. to use what was <laughs> the leftovers from the days before. This is the reason for the use of, of bread. Yeah. I think this is more than enough. We put some more heat. I have to explain to our viewers that um, not all the time people cook with the exact measures and of the ingredients. Uh, we, most of the time we do it like this, you know, because we know how, how it's going to be, how it's going to taste uh, without measuring and weighting the, the ingredients that much. And there's a lot of uh, Sicilian recipes with, uh, with, with bread. Bread, bread yeah. crumbs. They call it mottica. 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 And uh, I love it when they put it on, uh, on pasta because very crispy mm -hmm. bread crumbs on top instead of the parmesan because parmesan is, was not there. So it was in the, in the north. Yeah. So instead of using the parmesan, they were just using what they had in, at home. But Okay, let's let's mix the ingredient. Here we have the crispy breadcrumbs with onion. Did you I, put a little bit of salt? I saw I you. Put, yeah, oh, you saw okay. me. I, I tried to hide, but you, <laughs> you saw me. Because this is a problem. Every cook wants to have his own recipe. So they are nice enough to tell me, but there's always a hidden so, ingredient. Grated Parmesan cheese, mm -hmm. you put it in, we start with some and then we put the rest. Then we can put raisins. Raisins are very sweet, so just to put it at your taste. Because right. in Sicily they put a lot of raisins in, um, in, in their dishes, but you might not like that, you know, if it's too sweet. Right, I like it sweet and tasty. So <laughs> I put a lot of this. Do you want to put some more pine nuts? A little bit? Yeah. Because I like pine nuts. We put more of them and we add also some, 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 some. further cheese because I think this will be right. And like this we have oh, but, so the So right this is going to be the, the, the filling. Okay. okay, now we start stuffing the nostri rotolini. And since we are in the countryside and we don't have all the, the tools of a normal kitchen, we do it like this because the meat has to be nice and flat. Vero? Right. Easier, easier to, to cook in the right way. 
Okay. Perfect. Thanks. Thanks, Betty. So we take the slice of ham and uh, we put just one spoon of our filling we just prepared and then we roll it up like this trying not to make it go out right and then how do you call this toothpick <laughs> Okay, just to make sure it doesn't open during the cooking. And you put it here together with this brother. And you do the same with all your 25 slices. Right. See you in a short one then. In Italy, you learn how to cook your food very young. And we have Carlo, Renato son. That is helping making the rolls. Come va, Carlo? È difficile? No. It's very easy. As you can see, Carlo is eating the, the filling. Okay, this is the final result. Did you remember that Renato was outside looking for the um, um, laurel. laurel leaves? You have to put one leaf between each of the rolls and this will give an extra taste to the dish. And how, how long does it have to cook? Well, like half an hour half at an hour? 180 degrees to 200 something. Okay. Around there, mm -hmm. right now. If I survive, mm. that's the thing. That's the way it should look. We are ready for dinner. There you go. Right. Time to eat. Everything is ready. Also, the vegetables cooked uh, in the in the fire. How do you say it here? Sotto il fuoco. Under the fire. So, what thanks appetito. for what appetito. enjoying this. Buon appetito. Thank you for the invitation and goodbye from Casa Chiesi. Ciao. Ciao. See you next Ciao. time. Ciao.